everyone, thank you for tuning in to my video. Today we'll be taking a look at this old TIAC reel-to-reel -reel player. It is an A4000S. Uh, I was passing by a yard sale on my way to work and uh, just happened to pop in and see what they had. And I found this thing kind of buried beneath a bunch of this random stuff. And uh, it's really dusty. It's kind of beat up on some of the corners here, but it, overall it's in pretty nice shape. Like the stainless steel here doesn't seem to have any scratches really. It's just disgustingly dirty. It's just super dusty, but we're gonna see if it powers up. Uh, I couldn't resist the price of $10, so <laughs> I had to pick it up, even though I have no reel-to-reel -reel tapes to play on it. So I'm gonna have to start picking up some of those to really test it and hook it up to the receiver. But um, I just thought it was really neat looking and it would match perfectly with the uh, receivers that I have. It's just got that look. So without further ado, uh, let's first, before we power it up, let's actually take the back cover off or remove the screws. And we're just going to kind of do a visual inspection on the components back there. I don't know if it's belt driven. Maybe the belts are trashed. We'll find out. Maybe we'll clean out the dust a little bit because it's filthy in there. I can just kind of look down in this grate here and see that it's nasty. So, so uh, that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to take that rear cover off. And then uh, once that covers off, we'll do a little inspection. And then if everything checks out okay, then we'll apply power to it and see if it works. So uh, without further ado, let's get that cover off. All right, we're in. You can just see that there's just dust everywhere look at that dusty gotta give this thing a good cleaning but uh first glance back here doesn't look too terrible there's some capacitors up here that don't look like they're bulging or leaking or anything uh here's the motor here looks like it spins freely for the most part <laughs> yeah it's fine um oh i guess someone had replaced the belt because here is the old belt this is old <laughs> So I guess uh, someone's been in here and done some sort of service to it. Oh, look at that belt. I don't know how well that comes up on camera, but that does not look like a healthy belt there. I wonder why they kept it. But that's the old belt, in case you guys were wondering. Um, let me take a look down in here. I see more capacitors and stuff down in here. Maybe some of the switches are down here that we can clean. Yeah, so maybe we could take this cover off here, clean up some of the switches. But what I think I'm going to do first is kind of blow out all the dust, get it all out of there because it's nasty. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Brace yourselves. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing was really dusty. Bench is covered in dust right now. There. Makes it a little better. Not as bad now. Um, but yeah, first glance up here looks pretty good actually. Uh, I don't see any issues here. So maybe we could take this cover off, see what's lurking behind there. So let me take this cover off. We'll take a look in there, and then uh, if all checks out, then we'll uh, clean the switches, and then um, power it up, see what happens. Got that cover off now. This is about as far out as I can get it. Just a little more. Hopefully you can see the nasty caked on dust here. Look at that. But here's a board here, so it looks like we got a relay, a lot of capacitors here, a bunch of resistors. None of them look super questionable. I'm sure they're all very old, but none of them look like they're super questionable, which I guess is good, or none of them look like they've blown up, which is another good sign too. Um, I did realize that there's a fuse. I don't know if you can see it fuse right here so we can check before we power it up so let's go ahead and pull that out we'll check that fuse see if it see if it's experienced a short circuit see if we don't focus in there it's really hard to see it's a very thin um, filament in there 
It looks like it's still intact. Let's confirm with the uh, multimeter here. Unwind my wire. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this thing's experienced a short circuit. That fuse is good. Put it back in before I forget or lose it. Fuse is good. Um, really not much on this board here besides there's a switch on the back here we can clean. But uh, let's blow out all the dust first. access to the switches that are in the front. No, I don't. Uh, kinda. I'll have to do some cleaning on those who may have to take the uh, front panel off to get access to those, but that's okay. We can do that. I just wanted to do a visual inspection on everything back here before we move to the front. And everything looks okay. Um, I don't see anything out of the ordinary that would prohibit me from at least seeing if it would work. Maybe there'll be some magic smoke coming from something, but I doubt it. Everything looks to be in pretty good shape. So I think what I'm going to do next is I'll clean the switch here. Uh, I'll lube up. There's a like a big rod that controls the speed on the front here that I can lubricate and uh, clean. And there's a switch down in there. You can't really see it, but I'll clean that. I'll clean this one, and then we'll see if we can get the front cover off so we can examine the belt and um, see if we can get access to the other switches that are up there and clean those. And then after that, we'll see uh, what happens. We'll power it up and see if the motor works, see if it spins. It spins nice and free, so I'm assuming it'll work. But we'll find out. So let me do those things real quick, and then when I'm done, I will get back to you. All right, we are in. It is pretty dusty in here, so I'm gonna do the same thing and blow out all the dust. So here we go. Piece of belt just came shooting out at me. <laughs> Maybe the old belt. a little cleaner. I noticed that this belt here for this drive is pretty loose like it may be broken. So let's take a look. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just the way it is. I don't I don't think it's supposed to be that loose. Maybe it oh I think it came off this uh I think it's supposed to go right the outer edge of this. And it has uh, slipped off. So let's see if we can uh, pop that back on. So the belt still seems like it's okay. So let's put that back. I could see some wear marks where it's supposed to ride. And uh, just so you know, I've never worked on a reel to reel before. So please forgive me if I just seem like a total idiot. This is my first time. Let's see if we can get that belt rerouted. There we go. Get it right where I want it. I want it to be right there. I'll work on that. I need a, I need a screwdriver to help hold it. But before I put it back together, I'll get that belt put back on. See another belt up here. It looks like it drives the counter. See if that works. I see it spinning. Okay, so at least that works. That belt's still good. Um, is there a belt over here? I don't see one. So it looks like there's only 
belt here and maybe one back there I can't really see it's kind of kind of hard to see back there so there may be a couple belts we need to either replace or um, just see if they are okay still some have no idea the history of this we know that someone has been in here and replaced one of the belts I don't know what belt but um, at least we know that this one is still good this one needs to be put back on and then um, there might be one back there that I can't see I'll have to look from the other side but other than that it looks pretty clean there's a bunch of little micro switches here this may be for like the automatic reverse when it senses that it's done and it's reached the end of a reel tells the tells the motor to spin in reverse maybe um see there's another switch here and here i might sneeze all that dust is getting to me <coughs> excuse me man it was really dusty sorry about that <laughs> but um we got a bunch of switches power switches right here Looks like there's a light bulb in there so we can clean all this up i already got this switch here from the back so we can clean these switches i wonder if i can get at these maybe i could shoot some contact cleaner in there but other than that it really looks clean like i don't see any issues like it's like burnt up a capacitor or something like it uh, it just looks clean so I think what we're going to do next is we'll, I'll see if I can clean these switches. I'm going to try and clean the power switches. These switches look sealed, so I don't think they're serviceable unless you take them apart. So I'm not going to touch them because knowing me, I will break them. Uh, so I'm just going to leave them until they break or if we discover an issue down the, down the road. But I'll clean the power switch. I think I can get at the power switch. I'm not 100% sure if I can get at these, but uh, I'll try. I'll reattach this belt. I'm gonna polish up the front cover with some uh, metal cleaner, stainless steel cleaner, gently without rubbing off any of the lettering. And then uh, we'll put it all back together and we'll see how she looks and then we'll plug it in to see what happens. So let me get after that real quick and uh, once everything's back together, I'll get back to you. All right, this is the moment we've all been waiting for here. Got it all put back together. Polished up the stainless steel here, but I got my fingerprints all over it when I was putting all the screws in. So got to do a little more detail work on that, but it will come out really nice. There's like barely any scratches. There's like little light scratches here. And there's one over here. Other than that, it's flawless. The white lettering on the arrows here is kind of wearing off a little bit. I don't, maybe I could repair that with a paint pen or something like that. But anyways, we're down to the uh, moment we've all been waiting for here. We're going to see if this $10 machine will fire up. So uh, without further ado, let's see what happens. Here we go. So we got a light. Let me give it the smell test. I don't smell anything funky. No magic smoke coming out of it. That's always good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see if the motor spins. I was able to reattach the belt down here. It fought me for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. It was all tangled up and twisted in there. It took me forever to get it undone. But I did get it reattached. Uh, it was not broken, which was good. So let's go ahead and see. I think we have to simulate a tape being on. So we have to, because there's a micro switch up here, I think that can, kills it if it goes this far. So we're going to go push it here and then I don't know let's just see what happens oh there it goes oh, I hear a weird noise oh it sounds like it's coming from the the numbers up here yeah it's like slipping or grinding or something but I that just seemed unordinarily fast <laughs> for a reel to reel I know that this the return's supposed to spin fairly quickly but the feed ones is kind of just should just be spinning like that from all the ones i've seen online um man i really don't know a whole lot but that's just what i've seen that just seems ridiculously fast 
I don't know why it's spinning so fast. Let me check to make sure that the input voltage is set correctly from the plug. Yeah, that's not the right voltage. I don't want to grind up those gears in there, but uh, that just seems really fast to me. Um, I mean, this thing may need a full rebuild here. We may need to recap it, lubricate all the uh, mechanism levers and arms that move. There's a whole bunch of arms behind this faceplate that slide and act actuate switches and stuff like that that all may need to be cleaned. Uh, you could probably benefit from a recap after 40 years. Um, you could have a bad cap that's allowing some DC to pass to the motor. I mean, I really, I, I really don't know. I haven't even looked at a schematic for this thing. But uh, all the real to real experts out there, please drop a comment as to why this thing would be spinning so ridiculously fast. Uh, it just doesn't seem normal to me. I mean, I'm no expert, but that just, that just seems way too fast. So I would like to figure that out. I'll do some research in the next couple of days or so, find a schematic and figure out how this thing actually works and see why this thing would be spinning so fast. But uh, if you have more um, uh, expertise with these, please drop a comment down below as to something to look at, kind of point me in the right direction as to why this it would be spinning so fast. But uh, at least it works. For $10, it couldn't go wrong. It at least looks really cool. <laughs> We'll get this thing going. I need to find a reel-to-reel -reel online to uh, on eBay or at a thrift store to find and test it out with. We'll hook it up to the 1280 and see what happens. But first, we got to figure out that speed issue. So please drop a comment down below uh, if you kind of point me in the right direction because I have no idea. I got to find a schematic online. But I would like to know why it spins super fast. But I think that'll be it for this video. Uh, at least we got it working. It's cleaned up. Uh, it's not as dusty on the inside. At, at least we know it works. We know the motor's good. Uh, the little arm that swings up there, it's working. Um, it's not smoking. So we know we got lots of positives here. We just got to figure out why it spins so fast. So please let me know if you have any ideas. Please uh, give me any suggestions you may have. And I think that'll be it for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please be sure to let me know. And thank you for watching.